What is up guys, Jack54 HD here and welcome to this video on FIFA 12 Ultimate Team and this is going to be a live commentary guys for my thank you for 5000 subscribers video um, this is going to be my first live commentary I've ever done so apologies if it's not the greatest um, I'll probably stumble with a couple of words during it so um, you know it's not going to be the best just I'm telling you that um, but if I'm good at it guys then tell me in the comment section below um, because I would like to try and do these a lot more than I you know have ever done so um if this guy actually plays me I'd be pretty happy because it's gonna be a should be kind of an easy match. Seeing as his team's sixty rated and um actually no he's not he's obviously put three bronzes um in his team so that's kind of annoying. Kind of a bit of a pace abuse at the back but you know what can you do? Um I think as yeah he's got Benze Benzema uh Balotelli Muller, Pereira is 81 pace, uh, David Luiz who is 79 pace, Nuringal, Taiwo, uh, Richards, and you know he's got 45 chemistry but with these sort of teams um, you do seem to get kind of, um, they do seem to play really well for some reason, I really don't know why, uh, but that just happens. But um, guys in this video I really just want to thank you guys obviously for 5,000 subscribers and also um, just I want to give you guys um, a bit of advice for you know if you're just starting out YouTube and you know want to you know have a bit of see what people want to you know see what people make of your videos straight away and obviously he's paused the game here to uh, make the substitution to bring on his three new players um, <clears throat> but guys um, I think when you're first starting out is you know you can't be I think spamming your videos to people via PM is probably the worst thing you could ever do. Um, definitely not worth it because I know myself, I never, never really check out people's videos that PM me. Um, I do the odd few, and if you are that person, then you're kind of lucky because um, I honestly rarely have time in the day to check every single video that gets sent to me via PM. Probably get about 20 to uh, maybe a bit more a day, to be honest. And you know, I just think, you know, I think I can't, I can't even imagine what, you know, people like, I don't know, unique riggers get a day or or stuff like that, asking them to watch their videos and stuff like that. Um, I just think, I don't know, it's hard to explain to be honest, guys, but I just think when you're first starting out, I think it's just a bit of a cheap tactic um, to get yourself known or whatever. I think if you want to get noticed when you first start out, you need to be bringing, uh, you know, original content and by that I mean something that hasn't been done before um, something that's legitimate to your own channel and something that you know people can you know see your channel and be like oh he's the guy that does that series blah 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 or whatever but you know um, I would say my channel really kicked off from me doing the Road to Messi series and you know that that's sort of the reason why well in my opinion anyway um, while well, my channel grew uh, to this place, well, to the you know size that it is at the moment, and I think it just helps if you've got a unique idea behind your channel. Um, it can really just help it grow, and you've always got it to you know turn back on if you're doing a different series or something like that. Um, it's definitely worth trying to get something like that, guys, for your channel. And I've just missed an absolute sitter, but um, yeah, I think one of the main things that can help your channel grow as well is uploading to community channels now I think I'm Original Kenness has actually just started one up now so I will try and put the link to that in the description if I remember if I don't then apologies I think it's called Universal FIFA um, so you guys can go check it out if um, I don't put the link in the, in the description but it's basically a community channel for underrated FIFA directors and um, you know it should grow and grow and grow uh, should be a really good channel for you guys to you know promote your videos and have a wider audience um, if you haven't got many subs and you know think you have good content or whatever um, it's definitely the place to uh, try and post because you know when I when I first started and wanted to upload to a community channel I um, I did mine on Matt I uploaded well the first community channel I uploaded to was Mad Sports Gaming and um, at the time that I think that uh, community channel had about 500 subscribers and I uploaded a video called the bid token challenge and it was basically a, a series where I would go through 
a different, um, obviously on the web app because that was the only place you had bid tokens. And in FIFA 11, um, it's not like in FIFA 12 where your bid tokens, you know, get revamped every 25 minutes or something like that. Back to the full 25, you actually had to buy all your bid tokens and stuff like that. So I wanted to make a series where I could help people um, make, well, not make, well, yeah, make coins with the bid tokens they have. Like the short supply of bid tokens, um, and if I score, oh, missed that. But yeah, I wanted to help people make coins um, with a short amount of bid tokens. For example, I was only allowed to use, say, 25 bid tokens for this first match. And sorry if you can hear um, some rustling in the background, it's my cat. Um, but yeah, if you know, I just think so. My mind's completely gone off for. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a series about. I had a limited amount of bid tokens and I had to make as much profit as I can um, from just using the bid tokens. So if I was using 25 bid tokens, I could only you know bid on stuff 25 times. So that was I mainly kept to uh, you know buy nows and stuff like that. And it could well be a series that I could you know implement into my channel um, in the future. You know I think it'd be a it was a good series idea. I just never really ran with it. Um, I probably should have tried to you know promote it a bit more. Um, than I did other thing I only did about three episodes but even uploading to that community channel guys it did help my channel grow a lot more um, I think that first episode I gained like 30 subscribers or something and you know when you're first starting that is a lot you know I think you know you could be seeing yourself uh, gaining a lot more people and a lot a good thing as well um, the person that owns a community channel will like the video of yours um, on the on their community channel for I think White Tiger Studios was is the owner of Mad Sports Gaming and you know that he I think he liked every single video that went up on that channel um, and this guy's gonna score here but you know he liked every single video that went up on that channel and um, it actually you know helped the views for that video a lot more so you know it, it actually gained the views to maybe even over a thousand views at the time because he had around 3k subscribers or something and um, you know it, it just helped a lot more than I would have ever thought um, and then came I think the Road to Messi series after that um, I had a bit more of a subscriber base so I just did that and you know that's obviously what kicked off my channel um, you know I, I did that in FIFA 11 did it in about 14 episodes kind of shocked myself that I did it as well um, Messi was going for about 300k at that time so you know I had to trade quite a bit but it was really really fun I picked up quite a few bargains as well um, and I think you will be able to if you want the links to that I could I could possibly do that if you just want the links and uh, hit me up on Twitter and I will do that because I think they're unlisted at the moment um, but yeah honestly that just you know made my channel grow a lot more than it did I did it in FIFA 12 as well um, well I attempted it in FIFA 12 and just got bored of it to be honest because it was at the start and I sort of missed the opportunity to make coins um, what I mean by that is at the start it was so easy to make coins because people didn't know the prices of players they were putting up for and it meant that uh, you know bargains on the 59th minute were really easy to come by and um, you know it just made making coins 10 times easier than they would be now and you know I sort of only made about 150k from doing that um, which meant after that 150k was made you know all you know it was just so hard to make coins and I just gave up on it you know I didn't I didn't really want to do that at all because I was uploading to Global FIFA Gaming which uh, has 3,000 subscribers or so and I had like I think at the time like 1,000 1, subscribers maybe maybe even a bit less and um, that channel helped my channel grow a lot more you know quite a few big YouTubers were subscribed to that channel because it had just promoted um, itself I think about a month earlier than that or it was a big relaunch and you know I think loads of big YouTubers uploaded that their promo to their channel and um, it really really did help the channel out and obviously um, well, my, well not obviously but my videos got a lot more views than they did on my own channel and it sort of carried on onto my channel from there um, I soon soon came after that like two sick 2k subscribers and um, you know before I knew it I was you know up gaining subscribers a lot more rapidly than I was when I had you know 200 subscribers or so and you know it's a good feeling um, it's a really nice feeling when you know you have people that are c constantly coming back to your videos day in and day out to watch your videos that you create um, 
you know, it does feel good. So I think that's sort of just uh, what inspires me to carry on um, making these videos. Just people that actually like what you do, and um, you know, it's a good feeling. You you will know that um, if you do YouTube yourself and you get nice comments and stuff like that. Um, it really does mean a lot, and I just think, to be honest, um, growing your channel is definitely something that is a lot, well, it's kind of hard at the moment because a lot of people are going into the community, um, you know, seeing as FIFA 12 was out, so, you know, to be honest, it's uh, just something that you've got to be unique with, you've got to have, you know, unique content. Um, make sure your mic isn't, you know, completely crap at all. Um, I'd kind of recommend using a headset mic rather than a laptop mic because laptop mics can, it usually sounds like a plane's taken off in the background or something. Um, and, it, you know, people click on that video and they just constantly, honestly just click off because the mic is terrible and it's just, you know, really, really hard to watch with that mic quality. So. You know, just make sure, make sure um, you know you have standards. Uh, well, I don't know. When I say that, it's, uh, it kind of sounds a bit harsh, but just make sure the quality is kind of decent at the start because that's obviously going to be the first impression that people are going to see of your channel, and you know it's going to be have to be good um, for them to come back and maybe even hit hit the subscribe button. So um, I really should have finished that then, uh, but hopefully Kaylee can get there but no he hasn't um, but yeah hopefully that has just given you a bit of an insight into uh, growing your channel and stuff like that if this guy scores it's going to be kind of annoying uh, but yeah hopefully that's just helped you a bit um, that's basically how I grew my channel to what it is today you know I know I've had a few shout outs here, shout outs here and there um, you know from 3088 Shane or you know bigger YouTubers like my videos but you know it's just all part of the YouTube community people helping each other out and um, you know you can't really expect to you know have help given to you all the t all the way because you need to do a bit of work yourself and that's uh, you know that's really what is going to help your channel grow even more but um, I'm two no down now and you know uh, that's just I'm not the greatest at FIFA I think a lot of you will know from my record um, that I'm obviously uh, not amazing so uh, yeah, guys, just I hope that's given you an insight into how to grow your channel or whatever. Um, that's how I did it anyway, and you know I've I've got five thousand subscribers, so something must have clicked there. Um, but yeah, guys, just I honestly now just want to take the opportunity to thank you guys for you know all the support you've been giving me recently. Um, I've hit a lot of obstacles that um, well not obstacles objectives that I've been wanting to do um, on YouTube and you know it's been great I think one of them was to get over 400 likes on a video um, I actually set myself that target I think a couple of months ago and you know I did it I think I got one or two now um, on that level so you know, it's really nice to see um, reaching your objectives and I think the other one was to hit a video with over 10,000 views so you know, I think my first video was my Marlos video, um, the update video about how his price is going to rise and stuff like that. And a lot of people wanted to hear about that. I think, you know, I helped a lot of people. Um, I got a bit of hate because he went down to about, I think, 150k when Team of the Year was out um, because obviously he was out of packs and stuff like that. No, sorry, in packs and people were buying packs for Team of the Week, so he was getting still getting released. But now he's around. Um, you know, 300k or so. People are coming back to me and saying, "Oh, I'm sorry, um, I didn't realise he was going. He's going for that now." And um, I, I'm really pleased you've actually told me to invest into that player. So, you know, it's it's good that um, I'm. I feel that I'm helping people um, on the game, and you know, I just hope it uh, continues and people continue to support because, you know, that's what makes a channel. That's what makes a channel grow. You know, so that's my my actual cat doing that. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's what makes the channel grow, guys. Every like, honestly, it does mean a lot, and uh, you know, it just helps every single channel. You know, every comment, you know, even a comment, just giving a comment on the video, it just helps it, you know, be more seen and um, have a bit more publicity. Because in the in the in now in the new news feed, um, 
for you know YouTube and like the sub boxes and recent activity. Even if you comment on the video now, um, it actually comes up and says, "Oh, we've commented on this video," um, and that was almost a massive fail by my keeper. But yeah, it actually gives the video link as well when you when someone else comments on it, and you know even that just helps a lot. Um, it just you know I just I just think. I'm, just, I'm honestly just so grateful for the, for the recent support and I hope it just continues um, into 2012, a new year. Um, well, it's actually the 20th of January, I think, now I'm uh, doing this and that was a really nice turn by Shao and, of course, I miss it because I'm fucking unlucky. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, just honestly, thank you for the recent support. Um, I'm projected to hit 6K subscribers by my birthday so that'd be really really cool if I could do that um, and follow on through of the target um, you know I think recently I've been getting around 100 subscribers a day which is incredible you know at the start it take, took me about a month to hit I think 100 subscribers and um, to be hitting that in a day you know it just really does show um, how many more subscribers you can gain when you're a bigger channel and stuff like that so like I said, thank you for all the support. Um, it's been amazing. I hope it continues into 2012 and um, everything like that. I think that's going to come to the end of the video now, guys. Um, as you can see, the whistle has just blown. And um, but yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Um, please tell me in any improvements I can do to this live commentary at all. Hopefully, hopefully you've learnt from something in this video. Um, you know, I do go hopefully help. Uh, you guys with what I say and stuff like that. Sorry if I've, if I've you know, chatted a bit of shit in there as well um, because honestly when you're doing this live commentary you're trying to concentrate on the game as well as um, thinking about what you're saying as well. So, um, you know, apologies if some of it didn't really make sense at all but, um, you know, that's just how it goes. Above than that, guys, um, please hit the like button if you did enjoy the video. It does help my channel grow a lot more and um, once again, thank you for 5,000 subscribers. It really does mean a lot, and um, yeah, guys, have a nice day. Leave in the comment section below if you, you know, think this live commentary was good, or you know, would you like to see more of them? Um, because in the future, I obviously wouldn't be talking about the same stuff or try and talk about something different, updates or whatever that's going on in the community. Community. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button if you did enjoy the video, and have a nice day.